A pleasure to meet all at last, and welcome back to Survival of No Limits. And now, here comes a time where I feel like that I'm going way more towards like the conventional things out there that happen to be in life. So today I'm going to be taking a turn away from some of those things and moving on to some sports. Yep. You might be asking me, what in the world do sports have anything to do with survival? Well, it's plain and simple. Because most sports today are very dangerous. I can't stress this enough. If you ever remember a lot of the reports that people have based on baseball players having steroids in their system, or NFL players getting concussions, or basketball players twisting their ankles really badly to the point which they need a cast, then well, trust me. The fun based on analyzing the different common stereotypical problems that are underlying different sports is only beginning. Because aside from those three, there have been a lot of reports of different sports of other types that happen, like fights breaking out on hockey fields, or people getting kicked in the groin in FIFA. Not to mention volleyball players getting sand in their face, or the possibility of, well, disc golf not going so great. There's a lot of sports out there that unavoidably have some sort of common hazard that a lot of us cannot really avoid. There have been tons of things that have happened out there. Of course, the stereotype in there, of course, is the main injury or occurrence that can happen in sports. But I'm going to be taking a break from those things out there for the moment and talking about another sport out there that not too many people know about. It's called base jumping. If you're not familiar with it, then well, let me talk you into that. Base jumping is simply put, the sport in which someone starts up high, and I mean really high, and then dives down with a parachute in a backpack. And then after some time, the person opens the parachute and safely lands on the ground. That's what base jumping is as a whole. It's basically the closest that you can get to skydiving really, 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 really close to the ground. Because unlike tens of thousands of feet high up in the air in which you have a lot of time to feel the wind blown against your face, in base jumping you don't have at all that much time. So of course that pretty much puts you in a huge different risk situation. And there are, in fact, a lot of dangers that you might be coming into as you're getting close to hitting the ground. Your parachute might fail on you, so of course if you pull it too late, or if you can't pull it up at all, then well, there's the possibility of you flattening yourself like a pancake. And that's simply because of how fast you might be going. Research has shown from different articles and the like that you can pretty much excel at more than 50 miles per hour when you reach, like, top speeds. After all... 9.8 meters per second is supposedly the fastest that you could travel down to due to Earth's gravity pull. And skydiving, of course, is nothing much different. There, of course, was the 2012 land speed falling record of Felix Baumgartner, in which that, well, Felix ended up getting in a gigantic balloon that was able to travel all the way up to beyond the stratosphere. And we, of course, know that Baumgartner was wearing some sort of space gear because, of course, if you were to go beyond the stratosphere, it'd be way higher than that of the peak of Mount Everest. There'd be pretty much no oxygen in that area around the Earth. The stratosphere is that dangerous for the most part. But we also can't forget the fact that, well, aside from that, most conventional skydivers on their own, there have been reported problems of parachutes themselves not opening correctly, or ones that don't even open whatsoever. Not even the reserve parachute can open for everybody. And it's probably due to a few reasons. Because some people were lazy, or they couldn't get it done properly, or something else might have happened at some point. But regardless of that, base jumping, of course, sets the pace to what skydiving and like free falling does, and puts you at an even higher risk of possibly getting yourself flattened like a pancake from the extreme gravitational pulls that Earth could pull you down to, to the ground. 
that's pretty much like the only logical explanation that I could possibly put together based on this because it is such a dangerous sport in and of itself because of these risks. But of course that didn't stop a lot of people from actually trying this sport out. As a matter of fact, it has made a, a lot of appearances in some video games. Like GTA San Andreas. Yeah, no joke. So of course, aside from everything else I've already talked about based on that entire possibility of probably getting yourself killed because of a certain sport like that, there really is a lot relating to sports that I might have to talk about some other time. But until that, any of that stuff happens, if you want to see more, go down to my channel, make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.